He got shut up. Guys. Shut up. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eddie Bravo, and I'm the head coach for the 10th Planet team at Quintet. I put together an awesome team with some of the best 10th Planet soldiers out there, starting with Gio Martinez. The, he's ranked number one in the 10th Planet Association. Uh, we got PJ Barge, who's coming up real fast. He's right up there at the top of the 10th Planet Mountain as well. And then we have Richie Boogeyman Martinez, who has probably one of the best rubber guards in the whole world. He's always in the conversation right there at the top. And he also has super high level Darces and Japanese neck -tops. The big guys, we got Adam Sackhoff, who's an EBI veteran, who has, uh, for his size, one of the best rubber guards uh, in the world, uh, regardless, pound for pound. He puts you in deep rubber guard, you got some problems. And then finally, our biggest competitor, 10th Planet Black Belt, Amir Alam, who wrestled in his whole life. He also has one of the best rubber guards, even at 260 pounds, it's, it's incredible. He's pulling off Gogo Platas. Uh, it's rare to see a guy that big playing rubber guard. And of course, his wrestling is top game, is top notch. We're really excited to do Quintet. Uh, an honor to be part of Sakuraba and Josh Barnett's uh, uh, little baby. I can't wait to get it on. And I'm bringing my best guys, so y'all's up in Japan better be ready. I love that it's submission only. And you know, you have, you have an awesome environment out there in Tokyo, Japan. Um, I'm super excited that um, Eddie Bravo gets to take his students out there um, to represent, you know, and um, you know, it's nothing, it's everything we want to do. We want to represent at the biggest tournaments possible and Quintet is looking like it's going to be one of the biggest ever. So we're really excited to be in one of the first ones. Um, super motivated and I'm super pumped up. My training's been next level just because I know I'm getting ready for Quintet. Represent 10 Planet Freaks out of Oceanside. You know, I'm super excited to go to Tokyo. As you guys know, you know, the roots of martial arts, the roots of Jiu Jitsu comes from, you know, Japan. So I'm super excited to go out there and represent our style and just to show how far Jiu Jitsu has come. You know, modern Jiu Jitsu has come a long way and um, 10 Planet, we're all about the evolution. We all grew up watching MMA and uh, we're all big fans of Sakuraba. So we're super happy to go represent at his tournament. You know, he's been holding it down for a long time. So it's an honor for us to be a part of this unique tournament. We're gonna go out there and do what we do. You already know, freaks don't sleep. Oof. Me and the rest of the 10th Planet Freaks are coming out to, to represent Eddie Bravo and the 10th Planet system in Tokyo and we're super excited. It's, it's surreal to, to be a, invited by Sakuraba to come and compete on his format and, and if I get to meet him I'll go crazy man. I'm, I'm, I love Sakuraba and, and I'm very excited to compete in this format and try it out. It looks exciting. Sakuraba was basically my introduction to the sport actually and uh, when I found out about Sakuraba dude and, and the way he took on the, the Gracies and everything like that it's been an inspiration I keep it like close to my heart always when I'm when I'm training no points submission only is it yes I didn't know that if you don't submit you're both fucking done so submission only yeah oh it has to be submission or else we're both eliminated next who comes in so it's like old school oh I like that that's like old school um, Gracie Nationals how they used to do it yeah those are really exciting. Yes. They fuck up brackets and shit, but it's worth it because yeah. at the end, both guys are battling so hard. When it's submission only, uh, like 15 minute limit or a five minute or a 10 minute limit, whatever it is, Gracie Nationals were doing 15 minutes. There's no submission in regulation. You're both DQ. That's gangster. That's gangster. Yeah. I was first trying to do EBI like that. It's like, how could I do it? But. You just, you just couldn't, you just couldn't put on a pay-per-view event with that kind of uh, um, format. Quintet. Suplexing uh, onto head or neck. Uh, 
neck crank, uh, anything that actually twists. Little twisters? Yeah, anything that actually twists the, the, the neck. Um, scissors now, take down. Now what, what was the reason for no heel hooks? Isn't that kind of, isn't, I mean, that's kind of strange. Uh, a lot of injuries, and then we have a tournament. So, we mm. have to football team or something. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoy it. it. Makes me want to do something like this mm -hmm. too. Like maybe do another show with a team uh, concept too. I love it. I love everything this about it. We end up getting paired up with, uh, there's a mismatch. You know, we have the big best guy and against the small guy. Then in that case, it's good to try to stall them out. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's, it's very interesting. It's like a, a complex game show. for bringing us out, bringing the 10 Planet team out. Um, I never guarantee wins. I just guarantee that we're gonna put our 100% uh, of our heart into each and every minute of these matches. And hopefully you guys are very entertained. Thank you very much, Eddie. We are looking forward to see some of the 10 Planet system in action tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Bravo. 
it really just the whole experience is unlike anything I've ever experienced in my whole jiu-jitsu career. I mean, the whole team concept, is, and there's so many battles and ups and downs. It was so dramatic. I mean, it was it was incredible. Everybody shined. Everybody uh, had a tremendous moment. You know, PJ. You know, even though he didn't finish both of his opponents, he was all over them. He was clearly a superior jiu-jitsu player than both those guys. He was in, even in, in a little trouble in his first match, slipped up, got his back taken, but like professionally got out, and then he, he showed the world that that was just a little mistake because he uh, put heat on him two more times, was all over him. So PJ showed why we put him first. I, w I believe he's, he's going to remain at the top of the 10th Planet Mountain for a very long time. And then Boogie, you know, I put on uh, a rubber guard clinic and, and really showed the, the Japanese fans and the entire world what the rubber guard should look like and, and, and why it even exists. You know, there's still a lot of people out there that have doubts for some reason. And, uh, you know, Boogie just keeps going out there and just lighting people up with it. He also uh, darsed Sakuraba, which is... Uh, you know, that's a martial arts history right there in itself. Oh, there's the DOS. It's deep. You can hear the, yeah. the screams of Sakuraba. Sakuraba was screaming. He's obviously not enjoying it. And Richie got the one leg. Is he, is he tapped? He's tapped! Oh. He's tapped out! Richie Martinez with the win! Tapped out! He advances. You know, and then for him to lose against Rita uh, in the next match set up the revenge. You know, you can't have a good movie without a big, you know, some ups and downs and a big down. And um, looking back now, it's, it was perfect. Though he 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 already he already created history with uh, what he did with his rubber guard against Shaw assist and taking out Sakuraba. But then his brother, Gio, coming back and I looked him in the eye and said, avenge your brother's death. <laughs> and um, just like Shogun Assassin, <laughs> he went out there and just, and we were talking about that sequence before, once he gets a head and arm, and I've talked about this in class, you know. Oh, Gio could be under the neck. Good, good, that's Could be it. under the neck it's here. a little bit deep. It's deep, it's deep. This is looking dangerous for High Sam Rita because you do know what? Do oh, not want that's deep, like that's Gio deep. Martinez around your neck. Like a killer oh. stick. Oh! Gio Martinez! Gio! Big brother! He takes out the kingpin and possibly turning this final round in favor of wow. Team Ted Planet. Oh my god. Beautiful skills Beautiful. from the free you know, brother. I think, I think he, he thought that's the only way he can tap out high yeah, he played to his strengths yeah and Gio Martinez has a power of strengths uh -huh. and one of them paid off here tonight against the giant Ghanaian who has tapped out four members tonight Gio Martinez in 45 seconds and then we had you know Amir with uh you know like I said you can't have heaven without hell you know and uh, unfortunately, you know, he got leg locked in his first match and uh, went out, you know, like, you know, like a wounded warrior and was almost not going to come back, to be honest. I told him, I go, fake it, you know, fake it. Unless you want to, if you, unless you want, don't want to do it, then that's fine. But if you want to do it, you got to just pretend everything's fine. And um, he did. And, uh, you know, and before he got the chance to redeem himself, you know, Adam goes out, and he was our last guy. And he goes against the guy who knee barred Amir, you know, and that was it. And I knew Adam was hurt. You know, we, we kept him in the wraps, but his, his foot had been messed up. He hadn't been able to train. And that guy went right after it. And I really thought, okay, it's over, it's done. He got him, he had his foot. But he hung in there, took the guys back, choked them out, and just kept us alive. It was amazing. And then Amir comes back and closes out the show and just makes it, it's like, it was, it was um, almost too good to be true. You know, this is the greatest moment of Tenth Planet history right here, no doubt. I feel like we're in a band, I feel like we're, when, when uh, Kiss came to Japan in 1970, 
the same squash. I feel like, uh, like I'm Bill Coin, I'm their manager, and this is <laughs> Okay. That's, that's some, uh, you gotta really, you gotta really don't kiss the Bill of Coin. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect team.